Joining me now for our P-Wolves profile is Nebraska Wesleyan women's assistant basketball coach Charlie Williams. Charlie has quite a background in basketball. Let's start there. Uh, Charlie, tell me a little bit about uh, your coaching stops before Nebraska Wesleyan. Uh, my longest stop was at the high school level uh, at Lincoln Lutheran High School. I was the assistant women's basketball coach there for nine years. After that, I did a year of uh, club ball. Uh, a lot of the girls from Lincoln East that uh, played in the championship game were on that eighth grade team. I won't take any credit for that, though. And then uh, was able to get uh, over here to Nebraska Wesleyan. Yeah. I want to ask you about uh, some basketball camps that you helped put on in Mongolia a few years ago. This is a very interesting story. What is the story on that? We were asked to bring a group of uh, people over to help do basketball camps there in uh, the summer of 2009 and we did that for the purpose of helping build some of the relationships between uh, an American family that was working with a local church there and some of the young people there uh, and through the game of basketball it was very successful. Now, had they ever been exposed to basketball? Were you starting from scratch with them or just where? They've been exposed, but only at the television level. And unfortunately, they watch a lot of NBA basketball, uh, so they don't play any defense. They like to shoot the three. The team concept is just non-existent over there. Now, it's something, though, that they need in their lives. Activities? With nine months of winter, there's just not the activities to go outside and play. A lot of times in winter, it gets 40 to 50 degrees below zero. So indoors, volleyball, basketball is a big activity that just about everybody and anybody plays. It must have been quite a challenge then to put these on, and, and you did it for three different summers? We did. Uh, the biggest challenge was probably the language barrier because we didn't speak Mongolian. Everything that we had translated, everything we said had to be translated, and uh, we found out we a lot of times say a lot of things that probably don't need to be said. Uh, then we were asked to go back in 2010. That was exciting because we even got to know the kids, some of the same kids by name. Uh, they trusted us. Uh, they showed up. They were great to work with. The third year, we tried to go back and help some of the Mongolians construct the camp. And that was very hard because their culture does not plan ahead. They don't plan for tomorrow. They don't even plan for this afternoon. And so it was very hard for them to stay structured in a camp level versus just throwing out a basketball and hoping that things work, which doesn't work in a camp level. And I know you were telling me that uh, there's a lot of alcohol abuse there. Yeah, uh, over the years, uh, vodka has been a, a thing that has taken its toll on the country as a whole, and it has gone even down into the young people where that is the norm. Uh, there's nothing that uh, middle school and high schoolers, uh, they've all had uh, part in, in drinking, and that is certainly an issue that is taking the and, and bringing the country down as a whole. What led you to do this, and, and will you ever go back? Uh, in October of 2008, the American family that was working over there uh, that we knew came and asked myself and another friend if we would be willing to do that to help them in this relationship building. And we decided to go ahead and, and do that and ended up doing it three times. Um, I would consider going uh, over again. The travel is very brutal on the body uh, with these long bus rides that we've had in our new league. I can tell you it's not getting any easier as we all get older, but uh, I'm not going to say I wouldn't ever go back. Yeah. Well, uh, switching to Nebraska Wesleyan, you've been a volunteer assistant here. Uh, why do you do that and just what do you do? I think I do it because of the passion of the game. I've officiated, I've played it at the collegiate level and the high school level, and then now to be able to coach it at not only the high school level, but to move in the collegiate level is just a dream come true, and it's, it's fun. Yeah, it must be great to see the improvement for these women's uh, players here at Wesley. Absolutely. This is my third season, and from our first to our third, my third season, uh, it has been great to start winning. And true, it is, winning is fun. Yeah. Charlie, thanks very much for being the P-Wolves profile today. Thank you for having me. Okay, Charlie Williams, assistant women's basketball coach. And P-Wolves profiles are brought to you by Leach Camper Sales, the Wild Bird Habitat Store, Firehouse Subs, just north of 66th and O in Lincoln, Emo Flooring, and Joy Sherwood, financial professional with Central Financial Services.